President Biden dropping out of the 2024 presidential race, and he's throwing his support behind his VP, Kamala Harris. We have political analyst and professor at North Central College, Stephen Maynard Caliendo, here in the studio with us tonight. Thank you so much for it's joining us. It's good to see you both. Yeah, it's good to see you in person. And yeah, 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 call, the, whole, right? the whole body, yeah. All right, so we're sure Republicans were preparing for this possibility. That you doesn't bet. come as a surprise. You the bet. opposition research, I'm sure, is ready to go. So what do you think is a potential downside? Might we hear something different about Harris that we've been hearing about Biden? Well, I mean, look, Kamala Harris has been vetted at the national level. She was vice, she was vice president. First, she was a presidential candidate first, of course, mm -hmm. and then, of course, ran as a vice presidential candidate. So I don't think there's going to be any big uh, October surprise in terms of a skeleton in her closet or something like that. It is different, though, being on the top of the ticket, the kind of vitriol that will come, uh, negative ads focused on her as opposed to focused on her running mate. So that's, but that's all part of the process, so we should expect it. If we talk strategy with Harris and the words that she chose specifically, not sounding like she was anointed, but she wants to earn and win the votes, what role do you think that plays and why use that as opposed to, you said she is established, she's you been bet. vetted, but yet she needs to earn. Yeah, and I think because there's been so much talk about the money and her having access to the money that was that was raised by the whole ticket, I think there, there was this sort of sense of, uh, I was just gonna hand it off. But a particular, you're so astute to ask this question, Erica, particularly because she's black and because she's a black woman, it really matters that she inoculates against an accusation that she feels like she's entitled to something. And so that word earned was used so many times, not only by the vice president, but also by her surrogates all day long. Clearly the notes were out there and the word earned came up so many times. And so I think we will see that. I think she wants to see some sort of a process so that it feels like democracy has taken hold and it wasn't simply a handoff. What do you think changed today, Stephen? I mean, in other words, what do you think will ultimately decide this election if it is Trump v. Harris? Yeah, I think one of the things that changed is energy level. Uh, as I was watching the Republican National Convention last week, I'm watching folks come up and they're all very enthusiastic about the top of their ticket. And I wondered how in Chicago were the Democrats going to manufacture that sort of enthusiasm when they all had these lingering questions in their minds about whether or not he was up to the job. I think that went away today. I think that went away today. I think there was a, 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 there'll be time to talk about the president and the president's accomplishments, but I think turning toward the election quickly and then figuring out who the vice presidential nominee is going to be is going to bring additional excitement for the Democratic Party. So if we talk about the voters, we know the delegates have to decide, but if we talk about those who are already starting to give this money to her, do you think that signals that some to some extent, some are already behind her if we're talking about those grassroots level donations. Yeah, I mean, they rolled it out pretty effectively today. She raised a lot of money even in the first day of, of talking about her own candidacy, even though she's not the nominee, she's certainly a candidate as of today, uh, a different kind of candidate, a presidential candidate, of course. So I think, you know, if you, if you, if you um, attach that to what we'll see in polling in the next couple of weeks, I think we'll get a clearer picture about where folks are. Um, we don't know because everything was unsettled and we pay attention to the news a lot, but everybody doesn't, yeah. you know, and historically we really didn't start thinking about presidential campaigns until Labor Day. Right. <laughs> Labor Day, yeah. right, right? right? And here we are with all this exciting stuff happening. Um, I think it's, it's from, from a professor's perspective, mm -hmm. I'm happy to have the attention yeah. focused on democracy for a longer period of it time. It was interesting coming into work today, how many people were playing tennis and at the yeah. park and enjoying the weather, seemingly oblivious. What's to wrong with you? What's wrong with you people? Don't yeah. you know what happened? Yeah, right. that's right. Yeah. Stephen, thanks so much for the time. It's good, good to see you. It's good to see you too.